welcome to the First Congregational Church of Elyria, Ohio. Today's video will be a stock demonstration of the 1949 Holtkamp pipe organ located in the sanctuary. This instrument is composed of 33 ranks of pipes in four divisions. The organ has a unique tonal character because it features pipework from organs of the church's past, dating from the early 20th and mid 19th centuries. I'm Evan Collins, and join me in the next 15 minutes to explore this wonderful historic pipe organ. We'll start on the grate with the eight foot principle. So a nice, clear, and rich tone. Next, we have our eight-foot stop diapason. It speaks very clearly, and it also has a nice, warm tone. I say with a, a lighter registration on the choir, it could be used in a solo capacity. Next in the principal chorus, we have a four foot octave. Very, very gentle. Um, and here's the octave with the eight foot principal. So not very aggressive, not very bright. Um, and there are no two foots on the grate. So next we have our four foot war flute. We have a 16 foot quintetong. So not a lot of overtones. Um, and it speaks rather quietly. So here is the eight foot and the 16 foot principle in quintetton. Together, a very rich and warm tone. Add the four foot octave. Yeah, and of course, we have a four rank mixture. So that, uh, that adds a lot of brightness and it's a very suitable chorus. Next we'll go to the swell division and we'll start with the Geigen principle at eight foot. So a lovely way to start the chorus here. We also have a tremulant to go along with that. So you can have a lot of fun with that. Of course, here's our roar flute at eight foot. Absolutely lovely, and it's very gentle in the upper range as well. Here's with the box closed. So a subtle difference there. Next we have a string, an eight foot solitional. Which 
which is not original to this Holt camp. Um, it, it comes from one of the previous organs of this church, a lovely sound reminiscent of a, a different time, rich in overtones. Here's the, the Celeste to go with it. Lovely. Um, we also have another eight foot string reminiscent of a different time. Um, the Aeolian at eight foot. Very, very gentle. A wider scale string. Here's that with the Celeste. which I think is best suited with the solitional, which we just heard. We have an octave Geigen at four foot. A flute traverso, which we'll see later comes from the choir. An absolutely lovely concert flute stop. Of course, we have our reed, our eight foot trumpet. which is a bit large perhaps for the chorus. A nice fat reed, which is absolutely lovely. And we have our four foot reed, the oboe clarion. A much more gentle reed. So we'll start with our eight foot Geigen principle. Gentle and warm, add our octave Geigen at four foot. And here's that with the trumpet. Kind of rounds out the sound a bit. And then without the trumpet, here's the oboe clarion with our eight and four. Very lovely. And then the eight and four reeds. If you really wanna get people up and out of their seats. Now we'll go to the choir below me here. And we have my favorite stop on this organ which I also believe is not original to the, to the Holt camp, and it's the concert flute at eight foot. And here's with the box open. pillow of sound. Um, it's absolutely marvelous, um, and I, I, it would work well with perhaps the roar flute on the swell. And of course, I love it on its own. Certainly a warm embrace. Next we have our eight foot Dulciana. A nice gentle eight foot string for the choir here. Next, we have our flute celeste at eight foot, and we'll pair that with our concert flute. It's just glorious.
Adds a bit of a gentle sparkle. We have our four foot flute de more. Lovely. Um. And of course we can we can build up some color here with our mutations. Here is the Nazard at two and two thirds. And I will pair that now with the Dulciana and the Flute de More. We have a two foot doublet to add. And the tears. Let's see what it's like if we build that on top of the concert flute. Kind of adds a, a, a richer foundation, a, a warmer tone. And here's the roar flute and the flute traverso on the swell. There's no tremulant on this division, but absolutely lovely for a solo color. And of course we have our reed, the Cremona at eight foot here. Um, I suppose that would be a crumb horn. Um, and let's pair our crumb horn now with the eight foot concert flute and our mutations. So it adds a little bit of, of brilliance um, and richness. Um, on our Pell division, we have an eight foot contrabass, which speaks into the room really well, along with our sub bass at 16 foot. Of course, it's getting the pews shaking. Um, absolutely lovely, um, but very, very present. Um, we have our quintaton available in the pedal. And it almost whispers um, behind the case. Of course, we can play an eight foot octave. There's the violin. And I wonder if that comes from one of the strings we heard earlier or if it's independent. And I believe it's an independent pedal stop. We have our Flautel Dolce. At eight foot to perhaps um, round out our sound in the pedal. And if you're trying to do a solo, we have our choral bass at four foot. very present um it's it's lovely and it's separate from our eight foot principle on the great independent from it four foot flute in the pedal we have a poussin at 16 foot it's a very fat reed if it's independent from our trumpet. It is. Wow. Here, here, here's the poussin and the pedal with the, the trumpet and the swell. So you can have a lot of fun with that. It's also, we have our eight foot trump, trumpet. 
So that's independent from our trumpet. Um, and our reed is available at 16 and 8 foot.